So once you get an idea, there is this moment of joy where you know you've landed on something that is potentially really interesting. You're going to learn, potentially other people are going to learn too. So it's a terrific moment. It's fantastic. It makes up for all the rest that comes later in terms of, you know, getting the criticism, revising it, the publication process. It's a creative moment. It's fantastic. I was looking at data sets about how much firms invested in information technology. And at that time, we were seeing Europe falling in terms of productivity and the US economy becoming very, very productive. And people were calling this a puzzle. They didn't understand why that was happening. And I remember start cutting in the data and looking at how much were US multinationals investing in technology relative to other firms based in the UK. And it was this huge difference. How much could they gain from that investment in technology? And the returns were just massively larger. I started developing this idea that US firms were fundamentally different in the way they approached technology. It was the first time that this was documented. The paper was very well published. And I remember Bernanke mentioning the paper in one of these reports. It was wonderful. We developed a new paper about a new finding that had not been documented before. It was policy relevant. It was important for managers. You were having impact. If you go for ambitious projects, there is a lot that has to be discovered. You're going into uncharted territories. You're the first person to touch this very interesting and new data, and you want to make sense of it. The scary part is that potentially you never switch off. You're thinking about a problem, you think about that problem in the shower, you think about that problem when you go to bed. I can become very focused when I work. Having caffeine to power through the nights is a very important weapon. I'm Italian. I like to drink espresso, black, sometimes macchiato.